Okay, hi, my name's Kev Benson. Um, I work as a counsellor at the Donna Louise Children's Hospice, which is a local hospice to the Stoke-on-Trent area. Um, my job there is a, a, a counsellor. Um, I work alongside um, families who've got a child with an end-of-life condition, and then also with the families once the child's died. I want to talk about uh, what it's like to be um, a, a teacher in, in a school and some of the tools that you can you can use to uh, come alongside children who may have lost um, a significant um, family member or even a pet. Teenagers who've lost someone, a brother or sister, um, find it difficult to understand and the question that they may ask is what's the point of, of, of life and they can be very very blunt in, in how they how they see life and how they explore life and the kind of questions that they, they ask. It's really important again for, for us as adults to, um, to allow them to, uh, to, to express these kind of feelings and, 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 and be able to, to, to ask these questions. Again, I think the main issue around teenagers who, got, who, who, are, who are going through grief is actual adults. We don't do death very, very well at all. Uh, and we don't, our society, we don't, we don't talk about death. So when it actually happens to ourselves, we really struggle. Um, and if you imagine being a teenager, that's even worse. As a school, as, a, as, a, as an organisation, I think it's important that you have a policy in, in, in place so that you can deal with, with this, so, so that you can be well prepared for if that happens. For a school, I do feel as though you need th certain things in place. For, exa uh, for example, somebody who has got a pastoral role would be um, would I, I think it's a, a a really important person to have someone with which the the young person can can go to and talk to about about anything. Um, a budding system is is a really important and an actual um, proven tool where young people themselves can come alongside young people, um, and that may mean just taking a group of young people around and giving them sort of some basic counselling skills. Um, but that has been proven to kind of work in secondary schools. Teenagers still love being creative uh, and I use art again as a way of coming alongside teenagers and getting them to, uh, to paint how they, they feel. They're very expressive, you give them a paintbrush and, and a palette full of, full of colours and, and sometimes in silence allow them just to paint however or whatever they actually feel as if they need to paint. But also being aware about body language, being aware about the colours that they choose, um, and also ask them very open questions, questions such as, I wonder how that makes you feel. Um, and, and, and that can just be a simple way of just getting in there, really. One of the, re the resources I, I use is from the Child Bereavement Charity, and a, um, a wonderful booklet which has been written by uh, a, a teenager, which is um, a teenager's guide to coping with bereavement and it's written by a, a teenager for teenagers and it's in their, their language. It's something with which I'll, 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 I'll give the young person to, uh, to take away and actually read and I'll kind of challenge them actually when they come back to see if they've actually read it and more often than not they have and there are often loads of questions can come from such a small leaflet as, as this but it's, it's really important to let the young person know that it's been written by a young person. I hope this has been useful and, and helpful. Um, there, are, there, there are many places that you can, you can visit. The Child Bereavement Charity I'd highly recommend. Um, there is uh, counselling services, there's Younger Minds and the Mind Organisation, which um, actually I, um, in, 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 in my local area are actually going into schools now and they might be available to you.